Gonna do this. 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 And it's our turn again. We're gonna do this. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again so much for clicking on my video today. Um, we have a funny one today, guys. It's a uh, it's a Demir list. Um, I sat down and I said, you know what? I really want to make a Demir control list again. We we want to revisit this one. We haven't done it in a while, and I couldn't get it to quite line up the way I wanted it to. And so I decided to go a little bit more on the Jank side and and try an all Planeswalkers Demir list. And uh, we made a really fun one, guys. It's uh it's pretty interesting. But before we jump into the deck breakdown and the cards we run into this deck. Be sure to, uh, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button because we do uh, post videos every single Monday um, and every other Wednesday, sometimes every Wednesday if, uh, if I'm not too busy uh, during the week to give you guys more videos. But be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the, uh, the details on that. And uh, we're also live. We do uh, play Magic Live every single Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Link in the description below uh, for my Twitch. Be sure to head on over to follow that. I appreciate that. Uh, with that being said, let's jump into it and talk about this deck real quick. Um, like I said, this is a complete Demir like Walker deck. Um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I basically went through all the Demir uh, Planeswalkers and, and tried to pull out pretty much all of them, <laughs> at least all of them that make sense and uh, make a really fun list with it. And it all kind of revolves around this card right here, guys, the Elder Spell. So the Elder Spell what it does is you can destroy any target uh any number of target planeswalkers and every time you do kill a planeswalker with this card you take two loyalty and add it to any uh, planeswalker of your choice so typically you think of this card and you go okay it's not very good what if your opponent's not running planeswalkers and it's a dead card well if you're running a bunch of planeswalkers you could kill your own planeswalkers to then get one of your other planeswalkers one of your stronger ones to its ultimate and that's kind of the key to the deck guys is we're trying to ultimate Teferi. Teferi is the easiest one to ultimate because he can trigger it twice every single turn and it actually ticks up pretty quickly. Um, and if we can ultimate with the minus 10, you take two additional turns. Now this card, I glanced at it, it's ultimate because I never thought I'd use it and I thought it was an additional turn, but it's actually two additional turns. It's broken. If you ultimate this, there's no reason why you shouldn't win, especially with some powerful planeswalkers like Liliana and Ashiak. You're going to get way too far ahead, and you should win the game every time if you ultimate. So Elder Spell, we're targeting Teferi. We're getting that thing ultimated, and we're going to have three turns to just smash your opponent's face. And so here's the cards we're going to use to get there. So turn one, I wanted to have a little bit of a, a decent curve uh, going. So Opt is a really good way to dig and search for certain planeswalkers uh, that you want to pull. If not, it's a good way to mana fix as well. So four ops, and then uh, we need a little bit of a board uh, presence removal. So um, turn two eliminate is really, really good, um, especially against things that, you know, like serpents who are protection from multicolored. Um, but this card is really, really good. You could also eliminate like Teferi's if you don't have an Elder Spell in hand and Teferi's now on the board, uh, you can eliminate a Teferi. It's a really uh, useful like versatility card. Uh, so four of these were, uh, works really, really well. And it's part of the new M21 set. Um, I'd highly recommend it. Up next, we have four Narsets. Narsets kind of the key to this deck as far as like searching wise uh you want to be able to get all your key planeswalkers out on the field to start you know working towards their ultimate so narset's going to help you dig for those um you're going to see too in the gameplay footage that i was able to pull a couple really key removal spells when we really needed them uh to keep us alive so uh four narset's is a key and then sorry and then davriel we have four of as well this one's a fun one guys this is a this is a card i wouldn't recommend running in this deck if you were like really serious about winning every game but with Davriel and Narset on the field, they both uh, work so well together because Davriel is uh, attacking the player's hand every single turn and Narset's not allowing your opponent to refill your, their hand. So these two work pretty good in synergy um, in theory, but a little clunky to run it. Um, it just didn't seem like it fit really, really well, but it, it was a lot of fun to play. And we had some moments where we were able to Elder Spell our opponent because they were playing Planeswalkers and we just wanted to get rid of them. And we only had a Davriel on the field, so we were able to just continuously go after our opponent's hand. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty funny. It was jokes. Um, and then we have three 
uh, Chemister's Insight just to help refill the hand, um, and as well as Teferi um, being able to draw and discard a card. It's really good if you can just draw and discard a Chemister's Insight because you can always replay it with this Jumpstart cost. So really good card. We run three of those in here. Um, then we obviously obviously have four Teferis because that's going to be our key to victory, um, as you'll see in the uh, upcoming video. Um, and then we have four Ritual of Soots. This could be replaced, I think, by Extinction Event. Um, I didn't run an Extinction Event, obviously, and I haven't play tested it yet, but um, I do think there's a place for Extinction Event in this spot instead, or maybe two of each. Um, I'm not sure yet, but Ritual of Soot is just to help us reset the board. We don't have a lot of creatures to block, so we need to protect our life points as much as possible. So a turn four reset with Ritual of Soot will get us right back on track and uh, reset the board in our favor. So four of those would be really good. Um, Ashiok, Nightmare Muse. We're running three of these. These right here are our two heavy hitters to end the game with. Ashiok's Nightmare Muse. Uh, I'm sure you know about this card already, but um, it obviously it creates nightmares. You you keep milling the, your opponent's uh, top deck down into the exile, and eventually you get to use those cards against your opponent. And then Liliana being ultimated at minus nine, you're going to basically take every permanent off of your opponent's board, including lands, except for one. So these two are our heavy hitters that are going to crush our opponent and really end the game. Uh, once we've ultimated Teferi and we take three turns with these, we'll have their ultimates ready to go. And it's just going to be ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. And our opponent's not going to be able to come back from that. So up next, we have our lands. Uh, pretty typical land source base uh, with it being two colors. You want to run obviously all your temples and your watery graves. Uh, but I did throw in two castle of each Lock Dwayne and Vantress for draw and scry abilities for late game and for interplanar beacons for life gain to also heal us while we were while we were going against like aggro type matchups. So that's the deck and i hope you guys really enjoy this list i know i did i had a lot of fun this is a this is a pure enjoyment fun deck and i hope you guys find some value in it if you do again don't forget to subscribe i'd really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow and uh, let's jump into some gameplay and uh after the gameplay we'll come back here again and we'll wrap it up with the uh, final thoughts so uh we'll see you guys then have some fun peace All right, <laughs> let's do this, guys. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Excited to bring this one to you guys. Um, so like 3.30? Uh, yeah, I'll be... All right, so we got two Temple of the Seats. Not ideal, but not a terrible hand overall. I would like to uh, get that opt off like right now, but... It's okay. Narset and Davriel. Gotta love that. Great combo. We draw cards, they discard cards, you know? I'm gonna play the temple first to scry. There we go. Now we get some fast lands. That's what I'm talking about. Because we don't really have a turn two play, so... I'm okay with playing temple and then opting on turn two. Opponents on some, ooh, opponents on some Jeskai Super Friends type deck. I cannot wait to take advantage of that. We'll take it. Elder Spell, guys. Elder Spell is going to destroy whatever Planeswalker setup they got going on. Because nobody runs Elder Spell. You got to be a psychopath to run Elder Spell main deck, right? Guess what? I'm that psychopath. Let's do this. All right. There's a Narset. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Because we won't be able to... I mean, we can draw cards, actually, but... We're going to do it either way, so... Another Planeswalker? Please, please, by all means, stack them up. Let's get our opponent's hand thinned out a little bit.
I love Davriel. I wish there was a way that, you know, he wasn't so defenseless uh, as a planeswalker and could protect himself a little bit because he is really fun to, to use. I just totally clashed my tooth with that Dr. Pepper can. Ouch. Yo, comment below your favorite soda. I am a big, big soda drinker. I know it's not a good thing to uh, declare or be happy about, but I do as my one, one vice. It's that I drink a lot of soda. I'm a big Coke drinker, but um, Coca-Cola, it's not, it's probably the worst thing you could ever drink. So try to bring it back to Dr. Pepper a little bit. All right, we got two targets for our Elder Spell if we can keep Davriel alive. Davriel will be a, uh, a buff little dude. I did like that. Let's do it. We'll see it. we'll see ya. Submit to. Whenever we go up against the Planeswalker deck, guys, this deck is gonna do amazing. It's just like the perfect matchup for us. Draws a card, discards, that's fine. And Davriel just became a five loyalty. Yikes. Opponent's really thinking about this. <laughs> Says nice. <laughs> nice. Get five more Davriel pumps on you. Discarding tons of cards out of their hand. All right, keeping their Teferi. I don't blame them. Got some draw power, so gonna be fighting against that. Let's see, what do we got? Four lands, uh, so we need two more to hit our Liliana. So, that's that. That was rude, wasn't it? Um, do we Nars? Yeah, we probably can only Nars that next turn. It's probably our only line we could take. Omen of the Sea. Nars sets a very, very good pair up though with Davriel because then they won't be able to draw cards like this with the Omen. Another Jeskai Triome. All right, our turn. Sweet. Sweet. Narset. No Mystical Dispute. Come on. I'm surprised I didn't play Teferi there. That was weird. That just dawned on me, actually. Ooh. I'll take my own Teferi. I was really tempted to take another Elder Spell there, but Teferi is really our, our Elder Spell target to win us a game. Being able to go twice, back-to-back uh, -back turns, would be the absolute nuts of the deck. Opponent seems a little confused on what to do. Oh, an Elspeth. Okay, that's pretty heavy. Get the Davriel. Oh, I was hoping they go for Davriel. Okay. That's fine. We could drop another Davriel to be a jerk and get their whole hand emptied out, but don't think that's the right play. What is the right play though, you know? What is it? This is tough actually. Um, Teferi gives me more cards. Face stuff out. Because if I graveyard their Teferi here, they're just gonna get it back with the Elspeth, you know? They can get anything back really. I'm gonna do it though. 
I don't have anything really spectacular I could do this play anyways. Um, Opt is not great here this late in the game. Get to do some damage now with Davriel, which is nice. Very nice. Four, five, six. We could still play Teferi this next turn, which is nice. I wish Teferi could phase out all kinds of things, like any kind of permanent. That'd be really sweet. We could uh, phase out the Elspeth before it goes off. That'd be really good. Ugh, they still get the Teferi. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. Hopefully they bounce something, like their own Elspeth. I wouldn't even mind that, honestly. I know that's really good for them, but like... I could, I could work with that. Um, the fairy it is. After a thousand years, I'm getting the hang. Gonna deal some more damage uh, with Davriel, which is nice. A little ping. All right, Elspeth, what you got? Who, who you bringing back? Double to fairies, okay. Better hope I don't draw an elder spell. Oh man, their Teferi gets a plus loyalty too. I thought I'd be ahead there. If it comes down to like a, a one in one race to 10. Oh boy, that'd be funny. I think we're going to drop the Ritual here. I don't think it's any good in this matchup. Alright, we really could use an Elder Spell. That would be super good. Narset doesn't stop us from drawing an extra uh, card this turn because it's their turn, so... Still going to use the Teferi plus one. Uh, we need to find something, though, to take care of. That Narset. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. I mean, Narset could dig out an Elder Spell though. That would be so sick. That would be so. That would be so GG's. Like, it levels the playing field too, so they won't be able to draw extra cards either. So, back at you. We do have Chemister's Insight, which makes it kind of nice because I could still plus one here. We're not going to draw a card, but we can get rid of Chemister's Insight uh, without too much downside to that. We get a plus one loyalty still, so could be good. Could be good. Finally decides to use the Fae of Wishes here. Feels like a very long turn for our opponent. There we go. Ooh, and we top deck the Elder Spell. Sorry guys, the Dax Primer is making me all burpy. I apologize, it's probably really gross. All right. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 2-4-6-Oh-yeah-buddy-this-is-just-broken-guys-this-is-just-broken-thanks-to-you-sir-appreciate-you-game-recognizes-game-game-recognizes-game-here-it-comes-ready-wait-for-it-wait-for-it-w
Gonna do this. 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 And it's our turn again. We're gonna do this. <laughs> oh, feels so bad, man. Not really, though. Uh, enters tapped. And this is exactly where we want to be. Basically just destroying our opponent's face. Uh. Yikes, guys. This is like actually disgusting. This matchup was... They lost this game before it even started with this matchup. Elder Spell, man. Name another card that can get rid of three Planeswalkers on your opponent's side of the board with uh, two mana. I'll wait. Uh, it's too good, man. Way too good. No scoop yet, though. I respect it. I respect it. Well. Well, what's it going to be? As little of a play that is, that is actually really annoying though, because we can't draw extra cards. Kind of annoying. Oh man, can't draw a card, sorry. You just wasted a turn. Feels bad, man. You just played your own Narset. You didn't realize you couldn't draw a card? We've all been there though. I can't, I can't sit here and say I've never done something like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Interplaner. Let's go with Narset number two. I know eighty-eight ways to defeat. Meditate and prepare. Smelly, but Smelly, but effective. We're getting pretty close to ultimating everything. We've ultimated to fairy. We could probably ultimate Liliana at some point. Jeez. There we go. Oops, I just did it. I literally just did it after I was talking all that junk. <clears throat> you know what though? I did plus my Teferi up, so I mean it's value, but I just talked all that crap about them drawing not drawing a card Classic karma classic Fay of wishes what are you going for? What are we getting out of the board? You better hope there's a card that says something along the lines of Elder Spell. All right, then he plays Fate Wishes outright as a creature. Okay. Do that. Ultimate. Man, so many ultimates popping off this game. So many ultimates, and they've had enough. I, I respect our opponent, though, for staying in there as long as they did. I really do appreciate them letting us uh, do some of that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first game. That was a heck of a heck of a run there. Let's go. That was... Uh, that was a fun and interesting first game, I must say. Oh uh, man, we had a we had a blast with that one. Hopefully, we can pick up where we left off here and keep the fun rolling. Let's see. Shadow Paw, what do you got? Got one Elder Spell, one Ritual. Mm, 
Yeah, we can keep this because we can opt on turn one. That's always good. Opting on turn one is always good. Gotta make sure we hit our lands. I want to keep that, but I can't. The Ozolith, huh? It's gonna get crazy. I bet you we're up against the Selesnia. Definitely up against Selesnia, I would assume. Mono green would be interesting. All right, we can eliminate that. But I have a ritual soot that we could get a lot of value out of too. Let's see what our opponent does. I would have liked to play Narset there, but it was just going to get killed immediately. Mm, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, let that resolve. We're just going to take it on the chain here. We're going to Ritual. I think Ritual is the way to go here. But then we're just giving this more tokens. Right, I'm going to kill it. We can't let the Ozolith get any tokens. Um, and our turn again. Can eliminate again, but giving two tokens to the Ozolith is not ideal, so I don't know if we're going to do that or if we're going to Chemistry's Insight here. I think we're going to draw cards. I hope. I hope I'm making the right call with that. But I like having Beacon out already because... Narset will gain us some life too, which is nice. Okay, that's a two. We'll take it. Gonna draw cards. Ritual these guys out of the way. Yep. I know, I know, I know. I know. I have no good answer for an Ozolith. I would really like to make an Ozolith death my, uh, deck myself. I feel like uh, I have some pretty good ideas in mind for it. Alright. Ashiok coming down. You're going back. That was a good bounce because our opponent here used up all their mana to play that. So we got really good value out of that bounce. They still keep the tokens though, I believe. Pretty sure. I think so. Do they keep the tokens? Yeah, it leaves the battlefield. Yeah. So good. That is so good. They were struggling on the card to choose. Ooh, I see why. <laughs> I see why. Dang, 12 counters. That's tough. That is tough. I'm plus this. Gotta play a Narset. Chemistry's is good. Uh, we can eliminate into an opt. That's not bad. It's not bad. Eliminate our Hydra boy here. Get this big boy off the field. That might come with a scoop. Hopefully. Oh shoot, that's gonna create... <laughs> Three threes, but they're three threes with tokens. Big yikes. All right. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, we'll take it. No blocks. 
guess we should have blocked, huh? Because we're not going to attack with this, are we? Let's opt. Okay, let's see. Op. Ooh, Davriel. That's good. Keep them, keep them on no hand. And just further our Elder spell play. I can't. Oh, I can bounce this, though. That's pretty savage. Not bad. Oh, here we go. Now we're in business, guys. Now we're in business. The plays are about to start being made. Let's go. Okay, so we're all set up now. We got some planeswalkers on the field. We have uh, Ashia coming down. We can almost, we should be able to ultimate the uh, Teferi here pretty quickly. I don't want to have to phase anything out. Okay, that's cool. I don't want to phase anything out this turn, so I'm fine with that. Glad he didn't give it to the uh, forest, because the forest would have been able to... Actually, it wouldn't have had trample, huh? That makes sense. Let's block. Let's draw. Alright, how do we want to do this? Do we want to just do... No Davriel. Elder Spell, that's going to be two, four additional. Four additional, and I could plus one. So it's not quite there yet. I could do this, and then Elder Spell to get double, but is that good value? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting good value out of that. Let's just let's just hope we hit like an uh, eliminate or something. Shoot, we probably should have scryed first. Uh, we'll drop a land. Suppose we could just Narset again. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. We're we're gonna have a hard time hitting our ultimate like I I wanted to. We were, oh, that's pretty dang good. Okay. Pass turn. We could phase out our, obviously, our 21 pelt collector. I was just trying to avoid the phase out, though, you know? Ugh, I didn't want to have to do it. Because now the ritual of soot is also not going to be very good here. Looks like we might have to nightmare and bounce it. Oh, wait, we can't do that either. Shoot. Really put myself in a bind here. How many cards are in exile? It's pretty good. Man, not phasing that out. Oh, dang, that really hurt. That's strong. It's really strong. Liliana's also really strong, but we can't take Liliana right now. As much as I want to. Let me discard whatever's in your hand. And say go. Say go. Wait till attack step so that the uh, forest doesn't get all those counters on it. And then Ritual Sit becomes a great card to play next turn. And we should be able to ultimate something and uh, win the game. One of these guys. One of these guys. Going for Teferi. Alright. Respect. Kill you. Block here. Hit some good stuff, please. That's not that good. I'd really like the ultimate Ashiok here, win the game that way. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do we ritual soot this? I don't know. Let's do that. Uh, elder spell now? We could do that now, yeah. Let's do it. Two. Four. Let's just submit those two. We ultimate next turn. Guess I shouldn't have done that until I ritualed, huh? Either way, I guess I shouldn't have done that until I ritualed. Uh, we just made Teferi a 10, so we were going to ultimate next turn anyways on their turn. And uh, we would have got like three turns there. And we would have won either way, so let's go. Boom, got it. All right, game three, here we go. So far, this deck has been legendary. All right, that's a pretty strong start, I think. I think. Feels pretty good. Might be a little slow, but we'll take it. Look at the curve though. Three, four, five, and six drops. Ooh. Mind taking a Teferi? That'd be cool. Uh. It's the one card I didn't want you to take, bro. What's our opponent on here? That's on some sort of soul tie, which I can respect. Love me some soul tie. Soul tie and Grixis, my two favorites. Oh, another Narset, sure. Sure. No counters, please. That would be really nice. Okay, perfect. I'm okay with that. I'm a okay with that. This isn't my first time being a hero. There we go. I feel a lot better now that our opponent doesn't know our entire hand. And we got a Teferi resolved on board. That feels really good. And I don't think our opponent's running counters, so should be okay here. Oh, it's Ashiok good here though, because it's not really flyer. Hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Yikes. Okay, well, Temple's gotta go. Could hit an Eliminate here. That'd be really nice. Eliminate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. End our turn. Man, deck's feeling pretty smooth right now, actually. I didn't think it was going to be this smooth. I thought it was going to be a little bit janky, but it's feeling pretty good. Davriel feels a little awkward, but he's fun, so I'm keeping him in. Uh, Liliana can go. Dang, can deal two damage to any target. That's tough. That's tough. Definitely want to kill that thing. Seems like low value, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyways. All right, we can Elder Spell though and ultimate our Teferi. That would be sick. Next turn to Fairy Ultimate. Hold on to your bridges. Oh no. Don't say it. Don't say it. <sighs> okay, thank God. Thank God, that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Why would he not go for Teferi? We're almost ultimate. Interplanar Beacon, don't need that.
hits a cycle. That means we definitely get to ultimate our Teferi. Feels super good. That means we don't really need our Elder Spell anymore, huh? Yeah, don't really need it. Thank you, sir. He didn't see that coming, I don't think. I don't think our opponent realized that I could do that. <laughs> About to take two turns. About to basically cheat. Taking the eliminate, of course. There we go. Rituals no good here. Draw a card. I want to make sure we get full value out of our turn here. Davriel solid. Don't think you'll be needing that. Just go ahead and just get rid of that for me. Boom, boom. Take another one. And we'll say my turn again. Yikes! I I low key I low key feel kind of bad <laughs> when we hit our ultimate every time, but you know what? That's what the deck's meant to do, you know? Let's go. G, jeez. Oh, sorry. All right, I like this hand. I like it a lot. We're gonna drop a watery grave and uh, we got our turn three and turn four and turn five and turn six. How does that keep happening? I must have curved this out pretty nicely unintentionally. All right, I think we're gonna go Narset first. Um, I don't like that we're gonna be attacked, but not much we can do about it. Ooh, Ritual of Soot, that actually changes things. I think we're gonna go Davriel now. I was only going to do, uh, do Narset to find a ritual, but we need another black source, which is tricky because I know how this game operates. They're going to make it tough for me to draw one. I always sit on my foot, guys, and I shake my leg a lot. I don't know if you ever see that in the camera. It's pretty, uh, pretty weird, but I just, I can't sit normally. I have to sit down on one of my feet. Then it goes numb and then I'm like uncomfortable. I don't get why I do it. Come on, land. Come on, land. Does this have lifelink? It does not. This another. Yeah, this is basically like an I'll save bounty. Just without lifelink. Interesting. Good luck with your little jewel. Come on, land. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Beautiful. It's not a black source though, which is kind of not good. Oh, you're killing me. Um, I think we're gonna drop the Liliana. As crazy as that sounds, I think Liliana's gotta go. I do, I think Liliana has to go. Because eliminate, uh, we need eliminate for the uh, Johnny. Uh, does this give just an gains indestructible? Yeah, that won't work then. Hmm, this is tricky. Very, very tricky. Both going face. That's only three damage, so he's going to survive. Blue source. We don't need a blue source. We need a black source. Did 
This doesn't need to spend one mana though to sacrifice. That's pretty good. I guess that's what makes it better than the uh, Alsade, huh? Another beacon. I mean, it's good. Beacon's good here. Um, the ritual's starting to look not so great. Ugh, killing me. Come on, we gotta draw a black source. Help me out here. Nope. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Drop a Davriel, see what we can do with this. See if we can get something good out of the hand. Ooh, what's this? Oh, they're running Black Source? What? Ugh, what a whiner. Gotta get rid of that, that pup, man. Gotta get rid of the pup. We might have to throw Ashiok away just to get rid of the pup with like bou bouncing effect to the, to the dog and then get rid of it and then uh ritual set the following turn because if we ritual it's going to give one of the ajani's indestructibility which will survive which is a pain in the neck all right that is a black source there we go Here's where things get tricky. Um, Ashiok would die, but if he doesn't, if he doesn't, okay, if I bounce the dog, I can't, I just have to go for it. I just have to go for it. We're gonna have to deal with the fact that uh, one of the primates is gonna still be alive. We'll bounce the primate next turn. All right, opponent's turn. We're a little behind, I feel like. I feel like we're just a tiny bit behind here. Healer Hawk, okay. Yep, taking that. Ashiok should be, no, he's gonna start giving tokens to the bird. All right. Could do this and look for like an eliminate. That'd be really good. How many eliminates have we gone through? Just one? It's a risky play. Yeah, it's a risky play. We gotta go for the sure thing here. Which is to bounce the Ajani, have him discard a card, which is gonna be this card. Uh, they're gonna get a Johnny right back. Bird's gonna kill Ashiok. You know what I could do though? I could actually put a chump blocker out here for Ajani. That's all I need really is chump blockers. Forgot about that. I didn't, for some reason I thought he was like trampoline, but that's, yeah, no, we're fine. Chump blocks. And then we'll Narset and hopefully find something good here next turn. Like an eliminate. Ooh, a castle Lockthwain, that's not good. They're gonna be able to draw those all day because they gain so much life. This is gonna be a tough one to win. Uh, yeah, I think we're a little behind the eight ball here. What did we hit? Ooh, that's a big hit right there. As long as they don't have a way to give indestructibility again, we might be okay.
Narset's got to dig out something big here. Why wouldn't they use both of those to play then? Oh my lord, this game. Yeah, I'll take an opt. Opt's not bad. A bounce, basically asking to get killed, but we have another Ashiok. That's why I kind of want to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Forget it. And they're still going to have to attack Ashiok to get rid of it because it's going to be too much value sitting on the field. So I think this is a pretty strong play. I just wish they wouldn't have done two interplanar beacons here. Not that it made a difference. It's just so funny that they wouldn't tap the, the beacons for Narset. Oh, another. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. Who is the healer hawk going to attack? That's the big question here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I think we just found a star. Oh, okay. I thought they were sure they were going to be so mad they are going to hit the uh, Narset. But instead, they go for Ashiok, which is good for us. Good for us. Let's just do this now. Get this over with. Ooh, Teferi. Solid. Solid. Ritual soot. GG's. GG's. All right, we got full control of the board now. He can't draw a card. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Yeah, big oops. That's okay. Like I said, we've all been there. I can't pretend like I'm any better at it. Don't really need to chemist this insight. I've only I only threw it away because it's, you know, got jump start. Alright, cool. Get rid of the opt. Uh let's just opt. Another ritual? No, that's okay. We don't really need another one. Elder spell, that's solid. Ashiok's ultimate would be really cool to hit on this this game here. I really want to keep Narset out here though because it's saving our butts with those uh, castle locked wings on the field, you know? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be Elder Spelling, am I? Yeah, probably not. An Eliminate is solid, but I do need to keep plusing my Teferi, so who knows? Maybe we'll draw something better. Why do they keep... Oh, okay, they're doing it on their end step now. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. I thought they did that on their turn again. That would have been bad. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Why not? Let's get more cards in the hand. And their lands. Bad value. All right, it looks like we went from uh, for sure losing this game to looking really, really good. Oh, we missed. That's bad. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Opponent's not going to be happy about this combo. Oh man, all my planeswalkers hitting the field feels so delicious. I'm going to keep the land in hand because if we draw into something with Teferi, we want to be able to discard uh, the land. Got to keep that in mind. Gonna be able to ultimate the Teferi and Ashiok at the same time. 
feels very, very good. Our opponent's not doing much, though. If they hit us with that uh, revival card, halving our life points, that'd be pretty good. Now we just need a Liliana, and the whole gang is here. What's our opponent doing here? Oh, no, they just forfeited. Come on, let us do our thing. <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. That was fun. I think that would be the last game for the video, and uh, we'll break it down, guys. We'll see you in just a moment. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, I really can't say I thank you guys enough. Um, that's amazing, and I really do appreciate you. Um, if you made it this far as well, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the breakdown of the deck, how it played out, and uh, maybe some things we'd change. I kind of talked about a lot of it earlier uh, before, but um, I do think Davriel maybe uh, has a spot you know, off the team. We could actually take him out. Um, I'm not sure what to put in this place, so I, this I would be really curious to hear from you guys on what you might want to play um, other than Davriel, um, whether it's a Planeswalker, if we need actually more control along the way, maybe some counter spell action. Um, just to get us set up for our Teferi in the future. Um, I do think Davriel is really nice though for the fact that we can Elder Spell him later down the road uh, for those additional uh, additional two loyalties. So he's one of those cards that I'm not 100% on. But I do think after playing the deck, uh, you know, the, the few games that I did, I do think Ritual of Soot might be better off, uh, you know, I might be better off running that extinction event. Uh, there were a couple of times where there were some creatures that were just a little bit too big and out of range. I know I played an is it control deck off off video um, and they had a, a, a flyer that got really, really big, but that was a four drop and I just couldn't do anything to uh, take care of it because Ritual of Soot and Eliminate are both uh, mana uh, converted mana cost of three or lower. So anything bigger than that, it was really hard for me to deal with. I could only bounce it with uh, Ashiok and, uh, you know, phase it out with Teferi. So um, I do think Ritual of a Soot would be better off as an extinction event. So just something to think about. Um, if you guys enjoyed this deck though, be sure to let me know in the comments and then um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your takes on it as well. Um, let me know if you play this deck and you win with it. I'd really, I'd really love to hear your stories, but um, that's it for the deck and I appreciate it. Uh, you guys watching as far as you did and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helped out the channel and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully Wednesday we'll be uh, coming out with something new. I'll see you then. Peace.